Hello everyone, Jason Haynes here once again. QPL Rural, another edition of the Haynes Report, your weekly look at rural property and what's been happening around the Riverina. Today, well for one thing, we're enjoying the sunshine for the first time in a number of weeks. We're here at the back of Leeton on a nice little fruit block and uh, yeah, as I said, things are slowly starting to dry out. Hopefully we don't get too much out of next week's rain. Um, there's a lot of people trying to put crop in and, har and get ready to harvest crop that are really looking for more of this sunshine. But hopefully there's a few weeks of sun ahead of us and we can get on with the show. So as I said, we're just in the back of Luton here on a nice little fruit block. Uh, this is one that Craig has listed out of the Luton office. Uh, 100 acre block, so nice little condensed fruit block. And we're standing in front of a nice, uh, nice vine of Merlot there. Uh, there's quite a few different varieties in this. There's uh, Sauv Blanc, Merlot, um, all the different varieties here in this block, as well as 20 acres of Valencia's. Now, they're all running off Drippard Line with a nice little pump shed there running straight off that, that uh, MIL system. So, a standalone fruit block close to Narendra, or sorry, close to Leeton, and a good opportunity for somebody to get in even if you're living in Leeton, a good opportunity to capitalise on this market at the moment and jump into this fruit. Now, no doubt these fruit guys have had a little bit of a difficult year with all the rain, but as you can see, a bit of sunshine out, now could be the time to jump in and capitalise on this market. The other news this week, well, as I said last week, we do have that Mount Olive block going to auction on the 1st of December. We're doing a few inspections out there, a great mixed farming block and certainly one that would demand your attention whether you're looking to move towards a livestock enterprise it's great for that or you're looking to crop it a good mixed farming block under 28 kilometers north of Narendra. In new listings this week well you'll see more about this one in the new year but at the moment we've got we've certainly got a, uh, a property down at Finley another couple of thousand acres in that space there a good mixed farming block once again be it cropping be it for livestock a lot of infrastructure and well set up as an irrigation block. I can't believe water down there. Nobody needs water down there at the moment, but trading for, for sub $10 per megalitre. So if you wanted to take a position on this, we're about to plant corn. We're about to get into that productive part of year, and it's not too late if you want to take a position on this block and really capitalise on the market going forward. So as I said, some good opportunities, whether you're in the south of the Riverina or up here in the north, this property is still going on. In other blocks around that Finley area, we've now got another 450 acre block there that has come to the market in the last week as well. This has been fenced for livestock, but is laid out for flood irrigation. Uh, again, water off that MIL system, a good set of cattle yards, and a good opportunity for somebody that wants to jump into this space and uh, have a good add-on block. As I said, not too far out of Finley. If you'd like any more information on it, please give me a call. We'll soon organise an inspection of this block. Okay, some market comments now. What are we seeing in the market? How are we going with rising interest rates? We are seeing some probably some, a little bit of caution in the market until we start getting into that harvest period and people have a, a real idea of what they're going to get out of this harvest. Interest rates aren't helping. As I said, it is probably just slowing up people's buying capacity at the moment. And uh, look, but look, you're in agriculture, you don't buy for a five year cycle. The people that are still out there, the genuine buyers out there are looking to buy ground and they're still out there actively looking to buy for a multi-generational move. So I don't think this market is going away by any means, but I can see signs that it is probably slowing as far as the increase that we've seen. Uh, but as I said, in agriculture, we don't buy for a five-year cycle. We buy for intergenerational reasons, and that market is still going very, very strong. Perhaps it's time, though, you need to look at the market and look when there's an opportunity. If you're looking at putting your own property up, come and talk to us. We are seeing a number of properties come on the market, and now could be the prime time to catch that peak. If you'd like a free appraisal of your property, please feel free to give me a call on 0488 594 450. Only too happy to have a confidential conversation and only too happy to give you a good idea of where your property might sit in the market at the moment. Now, as always, if you'd like any more information on anything we've spoken about, please feel free to give me a call and uh, we'll catch up again next week. Cheers.